ranking member, there's uh, dozens of amendments, uh, a dozen amendments at least on this particular piece of legislation. If the member is not present to 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 present his amendment, is is somebody going to do so in their stead? Yeah, I, I can keep going down till we run into people that are here, but at this point, you know. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we can, uh, I know Representative Bobert's here and she has amendments. Okay. Representative Bentz is here. We'll go, uh, Representative we'll go in Harrell. that direction. All right. Uh, Representative Bobert, you have an amendment. It's designated as number one and uh, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And this is um, my amendment 279 that we're discussing. Um, it issues a sense of Congress that Expending taxpayer resources to talk about big cats in lieu of tackling mm -hmm. inflation is both a dereliction of duty and morally reprehensible. Uh, for the year ending uh, April 2022, prices for food at home increased by 10.8%. That's the largest increase since November 1980, before I was even born. Prices for food away from home increased by 7.2% over the same period, the highest increase since November 1981. The Consumer Price Index, CPI, rose by 0.3% for all items in April, equaling an 8.3 rise year over year. It's clear that under the Biden price hike, no American is safe. Everything from shelter to food to airfare has increased under this regime. Americans are paying the price for bad policy. In late March, Bloomberg Economics argued that inflation was costing the average American family approximately $5,200 a year. Real wages have also decreased by over 3% since the Biden regime took power. So much for the president's promises not to raise taxes on anyone making under $400,000 a year. Inflation is what happens when the federal government spends nearly $7 trillion in one year, as is what happened in 2021. Spending in 2022 is also expected to approach that amount. The American people also shouldn't forget that if this administration had its way, we'd have spent another $3.5 trillion on the China-centric green energy lobby endorsed Build Back Better agenda. Nothing's built, nothing's back, nothing's better. Really, I wish that the people in power would have just left things alone the way they were and we would all be okay. We'd also be diverting millions of taxpayer dollars in service of tree equity. Despite the clear threat that inflation poses to the future, of our country and to the pocketbooks of hardworking American families, the Democrat Party is choosing to instead debate whether or not to impose additional restrictions on big cat ownerships. Carol Baskin would be shaking her head. Aren't you glad that the so-called adults are back in charge? Can, you, can the other side assure Republicans on this committee that after we regulate big cats, we can finally tackle inflation in our capacities as elected representatives. This Democrat majority will do everything and anything to, defle to deflect, blame their significant role in perpetuating our national inflation crisis, understanding that it's still so important to bring up the topic of inflation. And to, in uh, to add insult to injury, millions of Americans were promised that inflation was a temporary problem. Last year, several cabinet, cabinet members, including Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo, argued that expansionary fiscal policy of the Biden regime, which is a polite way to describe the Democrats' wild spending spree, was simply temporary. Republicans on this committee and in the House are ready to take immediate action to fight this crisis. It is clear Given the committee's majority priorities here today, they are not. With that, I argue adoption of my amendment and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlelady yields. Any, any other further discussion on the amendment? Bobert 279, I believe. Number one, 
Are we on number one? You told me to. Anyone else wish to comment on that? Mr. Huffman. Mr. Chairman, this amendment was filed late after the committee deadline, so I appreciate uh, the representative's uh, remarks, but uh, members, our staff, uh, the affected agencies, the executive branch, affected stakeholders, none of them have had uh, any opportunity to review and comment on this amendment, so I strongly urge members to oppose it. Any further discussion on the amendment? Anyone else seek to be recognized? Hearing no further debate, the question is on Bobert Amendment Number One. I will pause so the members joined remotely can unmute. All those in favor of the amendment indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed to the amendment indicate by saying no. 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 In the opinion of the chair, the noes have it. The noes have it. The amendment is not agreed to. May I request the yeas and nays? A recorded vote has been requested. The vote will be postponed prior to my prior announcement. 